Our opponents are Renegades. Both Crumbs and Alex H offer very good experience. This is the first time that I've been given the chance to prove myself. I'm here to make it into the LCS again. If we, if we lose, then it's very heartbreaking. I've sacrificed a lot to come to NA. We got like, this final opportunity. Hey everyone, welcome to the Summer 2015 North American Challenger Series Finals. Tonight, the stakes are as high as they could possibly get because whoever wins this best of five match will join the North American LCS in 2016. Hey everyone, I am David Freak Turley. With me as always, the man to my right this time, Aiden Zyrene Moon. How's it going? Usually on your left, so I gotta get the Zoolander down. I gotta be an Ampy Turner today. <laughs> Absolutely. So guys, let's take a quick look at the Challenger playoff picture. Now, Renegades last week defeated Team Imagine in three games in the semifinals. They earned a spot in tonight's contest, and they're gonna face Coast. Now, Coast last week also 2-0'd their opponents, who were Cloud9 Tempest. Yeah, and last night, Team Imagine earned the final spot in the Spring Promotion Tournament with their victory over Cloud9 Tempest. They will join tonight's losing team when they'll face either teammate or enemy esports for the chance to replace them in the LCS next spring. Yeah, and those matches, the promo matches, will be over in September. But of course, we've got games tonight. Winner joins the LCS. Before we get those games rolling, we're going to send it down to our analysts for a quick preview of tonight's action. Freak. Hello, I'm James Dash Patterson, and joining me on the analyst desk for this series are Joshua Jat Leesman and teammate jungler, as well as the star of the new League of Legends documentary Live yeah. Play, Braden Porpoise Schwark. Good evening, gentlemen. It's not very often that we uh, start a show at 6 p.m., yeah. but uh, not I'm a bad way to end a Wednesday. Yeah, two junglers to analyze the games. Uh, both <laughs> just, we can't so. even, all of our casters are junglers, and then yep. all of our guests are always junglers. What does that say about junglers? They're great. That they're fantastic. They're I the guess. smartest person on the team. There it is. Well, I, I can't be cocky or anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Modesty, there. modesty, maybe a little bit later in the broadcast. Well, gentlemen, what are you looking forward to in this matchup between Renegades and Coast here? Uh, unsurprisingly, the jungle matchup. Mm. Uh, but that's only because we have a really unique jungler on the side of Coast right here. Shrimp, he kind of plays the way that I wish you could play jungle in professional play because he farms an exceptional amount uh, and usually transitions that lead. A lot of teams in high level play when a jungler plays like that their lanes get punished they lose turrets early and it hasn't worked so i want to see if he can transition this as he gets to higher and higher levels of play because i really like shrimp as a jungler having been at the highest levels of play i actually have a question about that do you think right. that shrimp or or that style of jungling could succeed in the lcs porpoise i think so uh it's it's a pretty greedy build sometimes uh i see shrimp going he, he doesn't actually include a sight stone in, in yep. a lot of his builds so that's going to be uh, a little bit dangerous for them in vision wise uh, what I like to see um, in this matchup is actually the mid lane okay. matchup. Uh, we have Alex Hitch uh, versus Peck and Woof, and <laughs> Peck and Woof, and uh, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But uh, so this matchup is going to be very interesting because Alex Hitch is a pretty dominant player on LAN. I see him mm. most of the time in scrims. He he plays somewhat standard, uh, kind of safe, but in LAN he really pulls off those huge plays that can turn around games completely. So we're gonna have to see how Crumbs and Alex H really push that middle advantage, whether they control the vision, uh, get a lot of control, especially with Shrimp being a farm jungler, yeah. he's not going to be contesting that vision mm -hmm. as much as Crumbs will be. So we're gonna have to see um, how Crumbs is going to play these matchups and also Alex H, who I think is going to be dominant in this matchup. All right, we saw him help TDK in the last promotion tournament. We'll see if he can repeat success here. One more follow-up question to you, Porpoise, is which of these two teams do you think is going to qualify for the spring LCS today? I think Rengaze has a really good shot to make it through here. I've scrimmed against them a lot with our team, teammate, and uh, it just looks like they're a really solid team. They always give us a good game. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what kind of strategies they pull out here. Well, a couple of the guys we just mentioned, Renegades, Alex Each, and Crumbs, are well known for their accomplishments in Professional League of Legends. But according to them, with a win here tonight, that would rank among their highest achievements. I think getting back into the LCS is definitely one of the highest mountains in the, the league career that I've had so far. When I left, wasn't just leaving the whole idea of competitive gaming. It was just leaving that specific team. I was out of LCS for a while already, and there were a lot of missteps and missed opportunities. But I think it will be really fun to play on the stage again. 
I'm excited for the possibilities with this team right now because there is a lot of player input into the how the team is ran. I think in this team we're actually speaking much more about any issues that are happening and all the issues that are getting resolved pretty fast. A lot of times, at least in the previous team I was on, a lot of conflict would just be bottled up and would create a lot of resentment and just no out of good team atmosphere. Since we are older players, we have seen a lot of teams and how they do it wrong and how we think it should be done right. Uh, starting the team with uh, Renegades has been for the sole purpose of making it back into the LCS. I think we get a lot of experience as a team, as the players like me and Krams. And right now we're playing with Maple that got a lot of experience too. They're quite passionate and almost feels like they think that they have more to lose, which is definitely not the case at all. But that, that feeling is kind of reinvigorating. Some of the players are getting into LCS by like getting straight into the LCS team. But I think this experience and this showcase is much better and I don't know, it's more, much more fun. If this were to be labeled as a, the end of the line for the league career, uh, I just don't buy it. There's other people that are playing esports right now and they are 27 years old and older. Personally, I feel like if I want to keep doing it, I can keep doing it. I think this is kind of legacy that I want to like, keep the, the guy that achieved something or actually a lot with the, having family and like child and that everyone will respect you for that and people will understand that they still want to play with you because you're so good at this game no matter what. One of the most proud things I'd be of would be making it into the LCS. Even if we were to some win major tournaments later down the line, I would still classify this one as a, as a good accomplishment. A lot of veterans on that team yeah. beyond <clears throat> just those two, actually. There's a, a plenty yeah. of stage experience. They mentioned right there Maple Street even played all the way back in Season 3. Like, we're nearing the end of the fifth season, so these guys have been at it for a while, and it's it's almost a a battle for them. A lot of people say they're over the hill or that you're not able to play to the same level, and they're going to try and prove that if they get back into the LCS. Yeah, Porp, it's a question we ask every time we come around to the Challenger Series is how are these amateur players going to perform in best of fives? Well, Renegades has the advantage of having players like yourself who are now experienced with some best of fives. Do you think that's going to really help with their mentality in you know coming back from losses? Yeah, that's, that's really important because um, in best of fives you have to pretend like every game is the first game. Or uh, you know, be, play a little bit safer. Obviously, if it comes down to the fifth game, you have to play really solid, so you don't want to make any mistakes. But for every game up until then, you have to play every game like it's the first game and execute your strategy as well as you can. Because if you don't do that on spot, no fear, make the play, then you're going to fall behind and the other team will take over. All right, we'll see which one of these teams can do that better. We'll be right back to break down game one. But for now, let's send it back over to Freak and Zyrene to get the series underway. Yeah, thank you very much.